Sling bags are glorified fanny packs, and sling bags are very popular at the moment as well. Worn crossbody, they look cool and are useful. But once worn on your hips, the old school fanny pack style, you will enter full 80s dead mode. Or won't you? This is the Bellroy Venture Hip Pack and I will spoil the review right away. I love this fanny pack. The Venture Hip Pack is a 1.5 liter capacity hip pack. Yes, you can wear it cross body and it works very well like that. But as the name suggests, you should wear it on your hips. And I believe this bag is best worn just like a fanny pack. With a capacity of 1.5 liters, you would assume that it won't fit a lot of items. But this fits all of your daily essentials easily. I carry my Orbit key and fresh doggy bags in the front compartment. In the main compartment I carry the Samsung S21 Plus with a quad lock case, which overall is a fairly big phone, my extra wallet, lip balm and eye drops, my Swiss army knife and some tissue because it is allergy season. But I could also easily fit my Fuji X100S inside. As you can tell, this is perfect for your EDC and to keep your pants pockets empty. And that is basically why I love this bag. It is just big enough to keep my essentials with me and my pockets empty. But it is small and compact so that I won't notice it at all. Furthermore, wearing it on your hips gives you the feeling of not carrying a bag around. And that's the huge benefit of this bag. In the summer, I tend to wear light pants or shorts with pockets out of which stuff can easily slide out. Moreover, I sometimes just do not want to carry a bag with me even if it's just a crossbody bag because you will sweat on those points eventually. So having a very compact bag that sits on your hips just like a belt gives you the feeling of not carrying a bag. That is why I love the Bellroy Venture Hip Pack. Just like all Bellroy bags, this is very well made but still lightweight. Inside the small pocket in the front, you have a little divider and a key leash. I store my Orbit key on one side and the doggy bags on the other. Inside you have a soft lined and secured slot for your phone plus another open slot in addition to the main compartment. I'd wish this smaller slot would have a zipper because some items tend to jump or slide out into the main compartment whilst walking. If you have been watching my channel for a while, you might remember that I do not like fitlocks. Especially these kinds. In my experience, the ease of use of magnetically closing this buckle comes with the downside of it also being very easily to open accidentally. One unfortunate bump against the fitlock could open it and send the bag flying to the ground. I really wish companies would stop using these fitlocks on essential parts of a bag, e.g. this one and only strap that holds your bag. On a sternum strap, I don't mind, but on an important strap like a shoulder strap or a single strap on your hips, yeah, I don't really like it. That being said, Bellroy added this elastic band as a strap end organizer. Initially, this was to keep the strap end in place, but I noticed this is the perfect size of the aforementioned fitlock. So I put this on the short side of the strap. And whenever I want to properly secure the strap, for instance, when I'm riding on my motorcycle, I close the fitlock and use the elastic band over the fitlock to prevent it from accidentally open. That band has some rubber application on the inside, that is why I turned it inside out to make sliding it over the fitlock more easily. To replace the missing strap and organizer, I used some gaffers tape to create my own strap and organizer. You can also use cable tie to keep the strap end in place. Besides the fitlock and the missing zipper of that one slot, which is supposedly a sunglass pocket, I did not find any negatives. This hip pack is amazing. Because it is so compact, you won't notice it, but still give you some extra storage to the clothing that you're wearing. Does it look dorky wearing it as a fanny pack? Yeah, maybe. Should you care about how it might look, that is up to you. Personally, I prefer wearing a fanny pack rather than losing my wallet because it might have slipped out of my pocket while I'm sitting in the grass on a warm summer day. That is why my question to you is, what are your thoughts on fanny packs? Yay or nay? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you consider buying this bag or one of the other items mentioned in this video, please use the affiliate links in the description below. You won't pay more, but you will support the channel with a small kickback of that sale. And if you have any more questions, just can't get an old-fashioned bean uh, with ham soup like mine. Excuse me, I'm trying to work. No one 
really cares actually. So everyone, you need to subscribe, push the notification bell, push Filled the with nice tender Stop, beans. I'm working here. So subscribe. Mine's so chunky, you'll be tempted to eat no it. No one cares. Walk. Your mom is chunky. So everyone, you need to subscribe to push the notification bell, push the like button. Mm. And if you push the dislike button, push it twice. And afterwards, yeah, you could get that chunky soup or whatever. Also, check out my Instagram, second channel, and podcast at You Know The Bow. Stay safe and healthy, everyone, and I see you in the next videos. Thank you very much.